not a person on my team in 16 years that has consistently beat me to the ball every play. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. That's just got everything to do with effort. I guarantee you, whatever it is you want to do in life, you'll be able to do. You will be able to accomplish whatever you want to academically, financially, relationally, whatever. And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. 15 straight years, 12 Pro Bowls later, if you want numbers, I done saw all of it. And the only thing that's kept me around is my effort. Because I wasn't a number one recruit, I wasn't a number one linebacker, I wasn't even an immediate guy. All I ever knew was effort would get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the league. Effort would one day take care of my mom. And it ain't about wins and losses, it's about loyalty. It's about understanding I'm gonna make the play or I'm gonna watch the play be made. It's simple. It's if I can tell my safety, you cover this because I'm going this time. It's a man on a man every time you play the game. It'll never change. It's about winning one on one battles. Fight through fight. It's our fight to fight. One in six doesn't define who you are. What defines who you are is what you do when you one in six. What the man you will fight for. Give everything you got today, not because of the school board, but because when this game ends, you have a brother to call for life, knowing you gave everything you had. That's why you play as a raven. That's why you fight as a raven. That's why no matter what nobody on the outside says, fight your fight. He said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want it. Sleep, he says sleep. Sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. So I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. are created equal, some work harder in three seasons. I'm going to say it again because you might have missed it. All men are created equal, some work harder in three seasons. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. 
You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You gotta have heart. The question still remains. How much time will you really waste? If I looked at my clock, if you looked at your phone, time never stops for no one. So one thing God don't give us. When it's your time, and it's your time. Now the question is, what would you do to make sure it's your time? When your time is ready, will you be ready? That's what I do, man.